It was the first time that uh, uh, a film was made in a village and we were trying to really catch the essence of a, a village life at that particular historical moment. It was the story which represented the plight of an individual, of a human being, versus uh, the society which surrounds him. And therefore, it had this social dimension to it. There was also a metaphysical, or one should say, you know, philosophical aspect to this uh, love relationship between this man and, and his cow, and the way he adores her, and uh, she's pregnant, and a source of you know, nourishment. <laughs> It came out, or it was produced, at the time when uh, the Shah's uh, propaganda was at its peak, you know, talking about, you know, the civilization and how we are now passing the threshold of the old civilization and entering into new civilization. They were always talking about modernity, you know, and modernization and all these things. And then, well, they said, well, I mean, this film, which has become now a representative of Iran because it, it made, you know, a big success in festivals everywhere, so uh, they, they just, they said that, well, uh, they were kind of ashamed that, uh, you know, the, Iran would be represented by its village. <laughs> they confiscated the film for about a year or a year and a half. Even during the shooting of the film or the film script, they had problems. <laughs> It's a story of a poor village. Uh, there's this Mashta son who has a cow. And then one day, uh, suddenly, the cow dies. We don't know why. And the villagers get together. They hide the issue for Mashta son when he comes back because he's, he's out of the village. And when he comes back, they don't tell him, but he gradually finds out about this. They first start lying and saying that the, the cow has run away or whatnot, but then finally he finds out that the cow is dead, but he cannot come to believe it or to accept it. And gradually he goes into a seclusion, to isolation. And he undergoes a kind of a metamorphosis. He identifies himself with this cow and becomes like his cow and he says that I'm the cow. <laughs> I was very much uh, influenced by uh, the new realism in Italy and also the classical films of, you know, Eisenstein or uh, even Griffith. Um, and some of these films, which they categorize it as art films. Uh, and uh, I felt the absence of such kind of films in Iran. And, and this was uh, one of my great dreams, you know, to, to be able to make a film about the situation. <laughs> The first thing that I learned from neorealism was to just look for the reality of your own, you know, not the others. Try to be just yourself and try to seek out the reality inherent in your culture, in your society. And the more, the closer you go, the deeper you go into that, the more universal it will be.